right. Parents, teachers, bosses, and pastors. They represent the superconscious mind. The superconscious mind does not have aspects. It just has different qualities and aggressive and receptive qualities. It's whole amongst itself. These two are two halves to a whole. That's what this line delineates. That this is whole on its own and that these are two halves. So, so this has its own halves through the universal law of duality. It has an aggressive and a receptive also. So, if you're dreaming of a, a male parent or teacher or boss or pastor, then it will represent that male that we already talked about. It will represent the duty. The duty is the male, the purpose is the female. It will represent that duty of the superconscious mind, which is to provide life force energy to the rest of the self, the soul, and the body. You know, when you feel invigorated or inspired, you know, inspiration, spire, the root word of that comes from the word sparare, or you know, spirit, comes from the word sparare, which means breath. When you feel inspired, it's coming from your spirit, your superconscious mind, it's the mind that the spirit uses, that inspiration, coming all the way down through the breath to give you energy to fulfill your blueprint. That's why you feel inspired. Anytime you feel inspired, be, be very mindful of when you are feeling inspired because that is a clue that you are following the blueprint for yourself. You are aligned with your superconscious mind when that's happening. It's a great feeling when you're feeling inspired. So whenever a female, boss, parent, teacher, pastor, right, anything who any symbolizing some sort of authority over you, shows up a female version, then it's talking about the blueprint. If you're driving the car, or if you're in a car, but your grandma's driving, it's probably about, you know, as, as best as you can get outside of you driving. You know, you're allowing the blueprint of your for your soul and, and physical life to determine the direction you go in life. It's great. Now, as far as the difference between why a parent or a teacher or a boss or a pastor will show up, you know, if, a, if it's a parent showing up, then it's, it, like I said, they aren't different aspects. It's just how you're perceiving the superconscious mind. Are you perceiving it? Are you perceiving your spirit as, you know, being nurturing? Are you perceiving your spirit as, you know, teaching you something? Are you perceiving your relationship with your spirit as, you know, bossing you, telling you what to do? Are you, are you perceiving your spirit? as more giving you spiritual insight, providing you with deeper spiritual experiences, creating a deeper spiritual connection, you know, that's how, how these, that's why it's going to show up differently. You know, so, so pay attention, whether it's a parent or a teacher or a boss or a pastor, you know, these are things that are like going deeper with you. You know, whenever you're interpreting a dream for someone else and they're new to dreams, you know, you don't, you don't want to get into this right away. Not at all. You just want to, you might not even want to, you know, if, if, unless they really understand superconscious mind, you might even want to tell them superconscious mind. You might just want to say, you know, maybe just say their spirit, you know, or maybe just say, you know, if they're like, you know, like that, you know, my grandma was driving the car, you know, I told you all, you know, all of that, but you just might want to say, oh, okay. So, so your grandma, she's, you know, two generations up, she's going to represent you know, your spirit, which is guiding you, directing you, you know, don't really tell them, talk, start talking about blueprints, all of that, but for yourself, go deeper with that. Or if you do, then just, then you can say, you know, go a little deeper. Once they, once you see that they grasp that and understand that, you can go a little deeper and start to say, you know, and you also feel like your spirit is more nurturing you along this process as it guides you. Or, or if it's, oh yeah, my, my female boss. Okay. You kind of feel along as you're going on this journey. You are being guided by your spirit, being directed, but you feel like it's, you know, it's being told what to do. It's harder, you know, it's kind of more, you feel like it's more like assignments you got to get completed. 